I know I don't vlog a lot, but hey, I'm vlogging today. I want you to be mine again, baby. My heart is driving me crazy. Uh, uh. You see, they're so pretty. I don't feel like talking. I just wanted to see. Take me out. I lost the weight. Now they sweat me now. Yeah, but you should love me for my personality. And now my hustler is just a man of me. One of y'all gonna be my baby mama one day. Your baby mama. I need a baby mother. I wanna. You work? I wanna pay somebody bills. You wanna, but baby mamas, you gotta, you gotta pay for the kids. I'm looking for somebody to pay somebody bills for. <laughs> like, for real. I, I wanna, I wanna be like baby. For, yeah, where you from? Houston. Houston? You, I got that, I got that, um, the activist, <laughs> activist. I'm not talking about the drink. I'm talking about Malcolm X type niggas. They, them activists. They be. <laughs> Delete what you know, well some or most of it, and relearn the good stuff. Cause it's like a lot of stuff that we are taught is like really fucking idiotic. Especially like, you know, the way, the, you know, the SAD, the sad American diet, you feel me? Especially that, I feel like food plays a part with a lot of things, you feel me? But you feel me, at the end of the day, just try to be your best you. And I'm not the best, but at the end of the day, I personally enjoy this journey more than you think I do. Cause it's like, I'd rather go through what I went through so I could have the wisdom because I needed to go through like you know the uh, you know when I had to when I was having withdrawals and I gained all that weight I had time to alone to myself I was depressed yo I had to go through that because I had time to myself to understand who I really was and who where I, you know humble yourself you feel me so depression is not I, I consider depression a time to recharge your battery you know what I'm saying to like you know what I mean charge your iPhone by that bitch on five percent that be on five percent so you, you hear me so you can't be the other, you know what I'm saying? So we out here, we from turn on. Poppy, 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 yeah. Poppy got a chulo. Poppy got a chulo. <laughs> good night, good night. Nah. All right, ah. <laughs> Poppy got a chulo. <laughs> He's, hey. Whipping my wrist with my mama. I know I look like Michelle Obama. Lady Gaga with your disco stick. I so pretty. You, uh -huh. Pretty girl. Hit the dab. You pretty come on. Not the dab. Who? Oh, beach in my <laughs> South Beach. I was disturbing some peace today, so stuff like that. But I'm gonna start vlogging more and more often now, so you guys can know the inside scoop what's going on. You know, while I'm behind the scenes of disturbing the peace and all that. And I like again, I apologize for not being as you know consistent with the disturbing the peace. A lot of disturbances been happening, but I'm working through them. Yeah, but everything I've been through though, like I legit appreciate it. You feel me? A lot of people stress like, oh, about all about the bad things and everything. But what about a good? What about the good things? And you always got to think about that because I remember like, and I always thought to myself like, yo. If it wasn't for the struggle, like, you know, my struggle as growing up, you feel me, as a child, you know, not being accepted into the world, like, with people accepting me as a person because they thought it was weird and all that extra stuff. Nobody wanted to be in my videos, none of that. Nobody understood my vision, and I didn't understand my own vision at the same time, even when I was, like, you know, at my peak of my career and stuff like that. And, I, you know what I mean? I still didn't know who I was. And I feel like we're on every day is a journey for us to really understand who we really are. And with life's distractions, and you know, there's so much going on. Like you gotta worry, you gotta, there's so much. I'm not saying it was a bad distraction, but it's so much. So you don't really have time to focus on your true self. So you you know, it's ridiculous. And you know, you get caught up with influence and I have caught caught up with influence. You know, going to parties, over drinking, doing this, turning up, trying, like I always had, like I always felt like I had the, um, I had the responsibility to act like the person that's on the video. So if you meet me, you, you won't be disappointed. So that's that's the main reason why it's like, and I be nervous, you feel me? Cause it's like, yo, that's really, you know, the reason why, you know, I went through my situation when I had all that 2015, all last year I was gone because I was, you know, having all those health problems, you know, prostate. Y'all already seen the whole video, you feel me? Gain like a hundred, goddamn 100 pounds and everything, but I lost, and I'm skinny now. I'm still trying to get right, I'm not perfect, but. But it was a long, hard journey, man. You don't understand what I came from. Like, being in a very low place in life might bring me to the highest. Nope, it will bring me to the highest place. I'm going to be in the top of flow of freaking the sky. I don't want to be in no condominium. I want to be in the sky. Talking to OJ Simpson, um, uh, second spirit that just be chilling up there. But, but seriously, though, like, you feel me? So, it's like, yo, the struggle made me, you feel me? And, like, 
so embrace your struggle don't always like and when i mean embrace it don't mean enjoy it and just sit there and just keep struggling and let life keep throwing lemons at you and you're gonna end up like a lemon head looking like you feel me just no you you know you work through the disturbances and you appreciate them and understand you got to clarify and you know yeah have a moment of clarity with yourself you feel me and just like you know, it's a grown we grow every day and we don't die till we die and we don't die when we die we will never die that's why i say that and that's subconscious that's subconsciously and you know, low key, a subliminal thing. What I'm trying to tell you, like, we're immortal. We're immortal people. Like, even if our physical body decomposes, we're still alive in this universe. We're still just vibing in the universe and all that stuff. You feel me? I'm a more of a mutual person. People be asking me, "Am I a vegan, vegetarian?" Nah, bro. I'm like literally Stevens, Joseph, the the guy that you see on YouTube, bro. That just be chilling, turning up, and all that. I'm not no, no. I'm dumb nothing. I don't. I don't even want a name to be honest with you. Cause it's like everything's a name, you feel me? It's like just because you vegan don't make you better than me. Just because you this religion, no, no, nobody's better than each other. And that's how I see it, you feel me? I respect every religion. I respect every, you know, interest that people have and everything. That's what makes people different. And nobody's, everybody's not supposed to be the same. So that's part of the world and that's part of life. So, you know what I'm saying? Like me, that's why, you feel me? And it's, to me, I feel like life is about balance. That's the word I am, okay? Like, you don't understand. Like, even, like, like last year, 2015, bro, I don't even like talking about it because I moved on from it. Like, you know, I'm, I'm another version right now. That version, bro, like, I, I was at a point where that's why I went ghost. I stopped doing the sturdy piece, all that. I couldn't sleep. I couldn't get no sleep. And this is on, I'm talking about drugs and alcohol and stuff. I'm explaining to y'all what it does to you. After a while of abusing it, you won't be able to feel it no more. You won't be able to go to sleep because... It depends on how you know how you use it or what specifically you're using alcohol like i'm telling you anything over usage of anything could f really fry up things in your brain like like i could not sleep not one second and that thing drove me crazy just imagine just not sleeping for a whole two weeks and you're just stressed out and you're just eating and it makes you have a craving for everything food that's why i gained so much weight food and you're not sleeping and you have no happiness you have no euphoria you have no dopamine you you the when that's what it mean when they when you fried your brain when you fried your brain that means you have no emotion i was just sitting there i couldn't laugh you really could get there so y'all whoever like interested in like getting into that stuff when you get older or you already have or doing it be careful about that stuff because yo are you able to handle the consequences bro i couldn't i mean i could not bro i really could not I, I don't want to uh, you feel me i try to like you know finesse you know take be slash vegan and be on like drinking heavy and have fun but it's not about that it's about having balanced peace within yourself um clarity you feel me i don't drink anymore you feel me i'm not gonna lie sometimes i come on i'm not gonna sit here and act like a saint you feel me i'm not going to saints row i'm not gonna act like Ooh, like I, I get around and drink and maybe i want to grab a cup yeah of course because you feel me sometimes when you're in an environment you want to fit in with it you know what i'm saying because it's awkward it feels awkward but at the end of the day nobody should let you make or make you do anything that you don't want to do or you think that's gonna conflict with you know your health your decision making and things of that such don't do that yo i was like my brain was fried bro like i couldn't sleep i couldn't laugh and nothing like you have no that pleasure emotion in your brain is gone literally gone like that's what happens with drugs like even alcohol alcohol takes away anxiety you feel me? And anxiety, for example, like once you you fried your brain up, it's not gonna work no more. And what else happens? Uh, shit, a lot of shit happens. You can't feel no more. You can't be happy. You know that when you feel good now, it's gone. All you do is just throwing up every day, just throwing up, pee, like throwing up. You feel me? You twitching, bro. I came a long way, bro. I can't. You can't walk straight. It's crazy, like. I'm talking about it not to get any like grievance from you guys. I'm getting talking about it so we, I can warn y'all. I don't want no money from this. I don't want no views from this. I'm warning y'all. I mean, I made a video about this, out, but bro, it's not worth it. It's not worth it. So, do you know what's worth it? Focusing on you. Focusing on what you can do. It's your journey. Stop focusing on this guy and that fuck so far off that guy, girl. You can if you like it, but focus on you because the inner love is right here. Everything moving to your body. Move into your body like it's an apartment that you want to move into that costs like $10,000. But this apartment right here, it don't have a price. It's like a billion dollars in universe money. You feel me? Because at the end of the day, nobody can't take it from you. You feel me? You, you can't, do you pay a bill every month for yourself? Someone come kind of. But no, I don't pay for like... We do kind of. Why the hell we pay bills, bro? Like, God put us here, bro. 
I gotta know who is the top man in, 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 in business that got this. Anyways, but yo, bro, but you know what I'm saying? It's crazy out here, so we finna turn up on these videos. I also, I got my mixtape drop, you know, my mixtape dropping uh internet baby real soon. Actually, like I'm gonna try to drop it next week or two weeks or even earlier. Internet baby, you feel me? It's a compilation of you know the recent stuff, the recent stuff I made, and plus you know just kind of you know not kind of but explaining everything from what happened like with my deals to from when I started YouTube and everything. It's just like a summary. I'm telling the story and basically and it's a turn up thing. We got me all kinds of music, you feel me? At the end of the day, and I'm growing. Every day I want to grow. So any criticism, that's fine. You could criticize me all you want because I'm perfect enough for me. You feel me? I'm perfect enough for me. Because at the end of the day, I, hey, that's all that matters. And you're perfect enough for you. And I do it for those people that feel like, you know, they're not good enough. And especially, like, they're stressed out. They don't have, you know. And I bring happiness and, you know, joy to people's homes. And, you know, watching my videos. All sorts of people watch my videos. Police officers, like, pulled up on me, like... Bro, even a judge, when I got out of jail, like, I mean, my last time I was in jail, I was doing some disturbing piece stuff. That's why I be scared, dude. I be wanting to cut my dress because I look like a victim. They be wanting to clap me. I'm like, no, just because I got dress and tattoos don't make me a drug dealer or somebody that's going to harm me. I'm a really great energy person. And when you meet me, you're like, damn, this kid's really intelligent and humble. But, yeah, that's who I am, man. But we've been out here working, man, every day. Like, it's, it's kind of crazy, actually, because when me and Low, bro... Me and freaking Big Low went to damn. We went to drove. I can't believe we drove out of Cali, bro. We, and for their Facebook, when my Facebook got deleted, I did that campaign to get my Facebook back. They're not giving it back. I got the final answer. But thank you so much, y'all, for helping. And possibly y'all probably still help because it might come back. But it's okay. At the end of the day, in this game of entertainment, a lot t was taken from me. A lot of finesse and a lot of a lot of hurt. Full stuff happened to me. And like, all I did is give, 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 be humble, and didn't receive. You feel me? I took risks, but hey, that's a part of the game. I'm only 24. My birthday July 3rd. Yeah. But yeah, man. So, bro, even like with record deals, like holding me on a contract, not letting me release tape, mixed tapes, and owning a percentage of my money and not giving me what I worked for and just giving me whatever, a chump change. That's one reason why I overdosed and went crazy because I'm like, man, bills, bro, real life stuff, bills. Stress, am I gonna make it? I got health problems. Yo, I'm too young for this. Come on, and I was suicidal. Why wouldn't I? You gotta fight that struggle, man. It's a game, man. Just like how you play NBA 2K, make this game right here interesting. You don't have to pay for this game. All you gotta do is get up and start today and to be your best version. Because today, every day, is like I'm trying to be better than I was in 2011, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. You know what I'm saying? So it's like that's how it is. That's how I'm thinking, and that's how I'm rocking. So I really appreciate y'all. I love you guys. And I honestly didn't, even when I made it, I didn't know who I was, bro. Like, yo, even, like, I get nervous around fans. That shit's crazy. Like, you don't understand. You get to know people, bro. I gotta lay down because I've been on my knees for a while and that sounds kind of homo. No homo, by the way. And everybody, hashtag Team Kaka. We is out here. Team Kaka is like, you know how the bass guy got task force. I got Team Kaka. You feel me? Hey, and we mobbed up out here. We not giving no Fs. Not caring about what people think about us because for what? For what? Why? No, you know why I don't give a f? Like, a f can I say it? a fuck? I don't give. I don't know how to give one. This is gonna be the best one you ever heard. You know why I don't give a fuck? Because whoever is trying to pass out the fucks to give, like you know they, yo, they're not, yo, they not paying me. You gonna have to pay me. I'm not. Nobody's paying me to give a fuck. Like you feel me? I'm not giving. Like yo. Nobody, there's no benefits and there's too much effort to care. So just do you. Do you, you feel me? And some wise stuff to tell you. Be comfortable with yourself. And once you know you're comfortable with yourself, you're comfortable with everybody. So be as much as comfortable with yourself, meaning learn yourself. Understand what you like, what you want as far as relationships, business, um, entities, millennials, kilos, kilometers. I'm just saying words now. Light bulbs, 100 watts. 720p, 1080p, 4K, Xbox One S. Your bitch got a flat chest. <laughs> and I'm back and I'm here. And I never knew I was going to be able to come back normal. Because after that brain frying shit, like, dude, I thought, like, my life was over. Like, you feel me? You don't understand how real it is. You feel me? Cause to a point, like, there's no life if you don't have a brain no more. And you can't walk and a whole bunch of stuff. I, and I fixed it with vitamins and 
you know, balancing everything, my intake on stuff. Like, you got to have a well-balanced diet. It ain't just lose weight. So, when I lost weight, I didn't just lose weight. I lost weight and I gained and I repaired. I lost weight and repaired my DNA. You know, I, you know, because, you know, alcohol and drugs have a degenerative, you know, properties. It will degenerate your cells and it will make you old. It will make you have no pleasure in what you do. Nothing. It just, it'll fuck your life over. And that's what happened to me. And now, look at me. I'm back smiling. I couldn't even smile. So if I take a lot of pictures or I be taking my shirt off now, it's because I had a hard time looking in the I don't, I don't, that whole, I spent a whole year not looking in the mirror because I couldn't look at myself. Cause I was like, damn, bro, this is what I really came to, and it's not even my fault. Like, I wish I was like, you know, somebody would have told me or put me on point about the industry and what, how people could just use you and just do you so dirty and stuff like that, and it's like so much bad business. But I learned, and now, I, and I'm, I just want to be a great example for y'all, just for y'all, like, and y'all to be an example for me. We are in this together. Nobody's better than each other. It just, as far as I just feel like enlightenment is just. The, le the levels to enlightenment. If that rich nigga over there sitting on a $100,000 Lamborghini or whatever. He in that $100,000 Lamborghini. Yeah, he winning because at the end of the day, he's more enlightened. He enlightened to the hustle, whatever hustle he doing. You feel me? He's enlightened. He's not better than nobody. He's just enlightened his intelligence as far as to get into this money. This money ain't got no power. You got the power. And you manifest that shit to come to you. And that's what we gonna fucking do, bruh. You know what I'm saying? Like, that. it's pr pretty damn simple. I'm not rich. I'm not. You feel me? I'm got. You feel me? I'm. I'm. I'm in the mud. You feel me? But I'm. A, I'm about to be on the concrete real soon. The pavement. I'm good. I'm gonna be walking on the SKY. Remember, balance. Life is about about balance, and it's not about being perfect. It's all about being perfect enough for you. To look out for the best interests of you. And remember, I comes before you in the alphabet. So people are gonna care for themselves first before they care for you. So remember, look out for yourselves. That's how I have to learn. Cause you know. A lot of people are on the outside looking in and they don't know your story. They don't know your vision. They don't know nothing. They don't understand. They just they just they just criticizing you and just think you just doing things on purpose and you know you and when you're really trying your hardest and stuff like that. Or you know or you know what I mean? And sometimes things don't pay off, like you know, you work so hard and down and you just waiting and you just sitting here waiting on that blessing. You know, you got it man. Believe in yourself. You're perfect already for yourself. Be happy. And if anything, if you want to make some tweaks to yourself, like as far as working out or going to school or this, that, that go ahead, advance, play basketball, go kick somebody in the ass. If you want to be an MMA fighter and, and sleep with Hillary Duff, do what you please, bruh. <laughs> shout out Hillary Duff and shout out Duff Beard. I'm glad I got to speak to y'all because I really don't, it's crazy, I don't speak to much people, but Lo and my family, you know, and I started to embrace family more. And like, you know, going through what I went through, through the depression stuff and everything, what I went, like, I'm glad everything happened and I happened because at this age, I feel like I'm like 20 steps ahead of the game. I feel like I would have done worse if I didn't go through what I went through. And that's life, man. So embrace the struggles and embrace the blessings and everything. So always think about the good and you always got to think about the bad too because you got to fix it. But fight through the disturbances, work through them, you live your life and we want to turn up with these videos. And yeah, I actually got to go outside and disturb some peace. Xbox Live, Steven Joe Live is my gamer tag. I'm about to tear everybody ass up in that 2K17, boy. Boy, we're gonna get right. So I, I love y'all. And we're gonna turn up, disturbing the peace. And y'all put down in the videos. And we, got, oh yeah, I got some skits coming for y'all too. You feel me? Skits, short movies, and all that. You know what I'm saying? It's gonna be going down in the building. We rocking with the universe. And my, I love y'all so much, you guys. Thank y'all for everything, and I really appreciate that, and this is a heartfelt thank you for accepting everything, and we're going to turn up, and this is just the beginning that ain't even start yet. So let's turn up, and hey, remember the bigger picture. There's always a bigger picture. Don't think small, think big, all right? If you want that house across the street and it's a big-ass mansion, you don't want it. You already got it. You're just going to move into it later. You feel me? Manifest that shit. You already have it. You know what I'm saying? Straight like that. And now I'm in the car. But yeah, but I was, and basically it's just like that materialistic stuff sucks. It's, it's just I don't I don't regret nothing not like happening. Like I'm glad I didn't make it yet, and I didn't make it yet. I will, and, and I already know that. It's just you have to learn the game. I don't want to go in something and not knowing the ins and outs of it, because it's really shysty, and you should you should be very knowledgeable of what you get yourself into, and especially if you're professional. 
you know, that, if that's your profession or something that you really like to do or doing, you know what I'm saying? I'm not, I'm a human being. I'm not an object. Like, that's why I feel like we're not objects. We're, we're beautiful creations and we're supposed to be more than just materialistic wanting people, you know what I mean? We're vibrate, we're frequency, we're energy, we're, f we're energy, bro. Energy matters, so you gotta really be careful what you do and how you do it. Cause you don't wanna manifest the wrong things in your life. You know, tune into, cause you gonna become whatever you tune into. And that's what it is, you feel me? And anybody going through suicide, yo, no people don't understand you, you feel me? I know people, you don't even wanna hear like, advice. Cause me, when I was going through my thing, I don't wanna hear that. Like, at the end of the day, are, do you have an answer for my problem, nigga? Do you have an so So get the fuck out of my face. You don't understand. Like, people don't understand your your problems or what you go through. They just in the outside looking in. So you take care of yourself. And God got you. Because I know God got me. And I know he got y'all. So, and I know it's Kaka. And my team, Kaka, will never stop dying. Hold. Oh, it's because they, they ain't gonna never stop. Acting like they gonna die. Never. I don't die. I'm a, and yeah, we turn up like that, man. Long ass video, but we know what it is. Straight like that, Stevie Joe. Kaka. Wow. Let's get it. Saudi Arabia, Saudi Arabia. And I am a player. I'm sorry for playing. Yeah, I am a maniac. I am a maniac. But I'm mainly a brainiac. My plan.